what is economics? Or maybe what is or should be the goal of economics? Well, it should be to understand how human civilization comes about and how it can be maintained. Uh, and that's not what it's been at all. Uh, so we have a, a discipline which has the right name and the wrong soul. What is the soul of economics? The soul of economics really is to explain how do we manage to build a civilization that elevates us so far above the energy and, and consumption and knowledge levels of the base environment of the earth. Because if you think about and this is actually working from a uh, work I've learned from Tim Garrett, who's one of my research colleagues who's an atmospheric physicist. And his idea is that we have these, we exploit these high grade energy sources from the sun itself to coal, nuclear, et cetera, et cetera, which means we can maintain a level of human civilization well above what we'd have if we were just still running around with rocks and stones and spears. So it's that elevation above the base level of the planet, which is human civilization. And if we didn't have this energy we were exploiting, if we didn't use the environment to elevate ourselves above what's possible in the background, then you and I wouldn't be talking into microphones. You know, yeah. We might be doing drum beats and stuff like this, but we wouldn't be having the sort of conversation we have. So it explain how that came about. That was the economics should be doing, and it's not. So this is the greatest thing that the Earth has ever created, is what you're saying, this conversation? Yeah, we're the most elaborate yeah. construction on the planet. And like that's not what we've done. We've denigrated the planet itself. We don't have respect for the fact that life itself is an incredible creation. And I, I my ultimate, if I had to see how humanity is going to survive what we're putting ourselves through, then it would we'd have to come out of it as a species which sees its role as preserving and respecting life. I like how you took my silly, incredible statement and uh, made it into a uh, uh, a serious one about. How amazing life is. Life is incredible, and we humans don't respect it enough. We trash it, and and that's what economics, I think, has played a huge role in that. So I actually regard my discipline, I would never call it a profession, let alone a science, uh, my discipline has probably helped bring about the termination potential, the, the feasible termination of human civilization. Strong words. Okay, let's return to the basics <laughs> of economics. So what is the soul and the practice of economics. What what should what should be the goal of it? Because you're speaking very poetically, but we'll also speak pragmatically mm -hmm. about the the tools of economics, the variables of economics, yeah. the metrics, the goals, the models. Practically speaking, what are the goals of economics? Well, in terms of the tools we use, we should be using the tools that engineers use, frankly. And that sounds ridiculously simple because you would expect that economists are using up-to-date techniques that are common in other sciences where you're, you're dealing with similar ideas of stocks and flows and interactions between the environment and a system and so on. And that's fundamentally systems engineering. And that's what we should be using as the tools of economics. Now, if you look at what economists actually do, uh, the sophisticated stuff involves difference equations. And like difference equations, you know, if you've done enough mathematics as you have, you know difference equations are, are useful for like individual level processes. If you're talking about a, a, an autonomous one, it'll go from state T to T plus one, T plus two, and so on. But not when you're talking at the aggregate level. There you use differential equations to measure it all. Economists have been using difference equations. So there's like a, a book, I think it's by Sargent and one other, are called Advanced Methods in Economics Using Python, two volume set. It's about close to 2,000 pages, and four of those pages are on differential equations. The rest is all difference equations. So they're using entirely the wrong mathematics to start with. For people listening, what is difference equations versus differential Okay, equations? a difference equation is, is like you can do in a spreadsheet. You'll have, this is the value for 1990, this is the value for 1991, 92, 93, 94. So you have, you have discrete jumps in time. Uh, whereas the differential equation says there's a process moving through time and you will have a, a rate of change of, the, of, a, of a variable is a function of the state of itself and other variables and rates of change of those variables. And that is what you use when you're doing an aggregate model. So if you're modeling water, for example, or fluid dynamics, you have a set of differential equations describing the entire body of fluid moving through time. You don't try to model the discrete motion of each molecule of H2O. 
So at the aggregate level, you use differential equations for processes that occur through time. And that's economics. It occurs through time. You should be using that particular technology. But uh, some economists do learn differential equations, but they don't learn stability analysis. So they simply assume equilibrium is stable and they work in equilibrium terms all the time. And that's, uh, it, it is the, the, the technical level, it's, it's an incredibly complicated uh, way of modeling the world using entirely the wrong tools. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that because it's unclear what the right tools are. Yeah. Maybe it's more clear to you, but... I've got to make it clear to an audience. Well, so this is a very complicated world. It's a complex world. Mm. You talk about there uh, some of the most complex systems on Earth are the human mind, mm. the economy, and the biosphere. Yep. Uh, so we'll 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 go. You know, I'm we'll go to that place. I'm, I'm uh, fascinated by complex systems. Mm. I'm humbled by them, even at their simplest level of like cellular automata. Um, I'm not sure what the right tools are to understand that, especially when part uh, part of the complex system is like a hierarchy of other complex systems. Yep. So you said the economy is a fascinating complex system, but it's made up of human minds, and those are interesting. Those are those are interesting, perhaps impossible to model, uh, but we can try, and we can try to figure out how to approximate them, and maybe that's the challenge of economics.